Asparagus is one of our first crops we see in early spring. It's relatively maintenance free. We raise it organically and and it's homegrown on my hobby farm. Hi, I'm Tracy Toth. Welcome to my hobby farm, where it's anything but a hobby. Come on, let's get started. So here on our farm, we also raise Navajo churro sheep. And this spring, we had 15 lambs born to 10 ewes, just recently, in fact. Now, once the moms deliver and the afterbirth has been passed, we transfer the mom and her new baby or babies to a stall called a jug. It's a temporary stall. In fact, why don't you come inside the barn and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, these little guys, more spring arrivals. Now, before they arrived, we did some prep work in the coop. We moved this temporary cage in here, and I like this one a lot. I actually found it at an auction, and I like it because it's enclosed all the way around. Now, typically, you can raise chicks in a cardboard box if you want, but it's a good idea to have some sort of wire mesh on the top. So with the arrival of spring, it's time to start thinking about planting our garden. But we don't want to plant anything until we've tested the soil. So I picked up a soil test kit from our local county ag extension office. Now these soil test kits are great because you take samples of your soil, the soil is sent away to the state lab, and they send you back results on how to improve the quality of your soil before you plant your gardens. We want optimum yield, of course. Ha, ha, ha. 